This is your daily devotional from the inspired word of God. August 11th, to be like Jesus. Jesus identifies himself with the needy. Matthew 25, verse 40. And the king shall answer and say unto them, Verily I say unto you, Inasmuch as ye have done it unto one or the least of these my brethren, ye have done it unto me. While God in his providence has laden the earth with his bounties and filled its storehouses with the luxuries of life, there is no excuse whatever for allowing the treasury of God to remain empty. Christians are not excusable for permitting the widow's cries and the orphan's prayers to ascend to heaven because of their suffering want while a liberal providence has placed in the hands of these Christians abundance to supply their need. Let not the cries of the widow and fatherless call down the vengeance of heaven upon us as a people. In the professed Christian world, there is enough expended in extravagant display for jewels and ornaments to supply the wants of all the hungry, and clothe the naked in our towns and cities. And yet, these professed followers of the meek and lowly Jesus need not deprive themselves of suitable food for comfortable clothing. What will these church members say when confronted in the day of God by the worthy poor, the afflicted, the widows and fathers, who have known pinching want for the meager necessities of life, while there was expended by these professed followers of Christ for superfluous clothing and needles, ornaments expressly forbidden in the word of God, enough to supply all their wants. We see ladies professing godliness wear elegant gold chains, necklaces, rings, and other jewelry. While want stalks in the streets and the suffering and destitute are on every side, these do not interest them nor awaken their sympathy, but they will weep over the imaginary suffering depicted in the last novel. They have no ears for the cries of the needy, no eyes to behold the cold and almost naked forms of women and children around them. They look upon real ones as a species of crime and withdraw from suffering humanity as from a contagious disease. To such Christ will say, I was unhungered and ye gave me no meat. I was thirsty and ye gave me no drink, sick and in prison and ye visited me not. But on the other hand, Christ says to the righteous, For I was unhungered, and ye gave me meat. I was thirsty, and ye gave me drink. I was a stranger, and ye took me in, naked, and ye clothed me. I was sick, and ye visited me. I was in prison, and ye came unto me. Thus Christ identifies his interest with that of suffering humanity. Deeds of love and charity done to the suffering as though done to himself. Maranatha, Jesus is coming soon.